Hi, so as you see, we have a summoning circle of kinetics. Very cool. I will host all play reviews in here from now on. I need help. So, April Toy Review could have been the best toy review I've done. Instead, it's just okay. There was a lot of stuff that I was gonna get but lost out on, or stuff on Marketplace that couldn't ship, stuff that didn't come. Kind of a shitty month in that respect, but there is still definitely some good stuff. So, the story is basically, I got a couple tapes from Marketplace. They aren't incredible. Well, actually, Mozart First Edition is pretty good. But they haven't come yet, and I ordered them two weeks ago, so I was just like, I'm not going to wait this anymore. There's already a few things I have ordered that are coming for May Toy Review, so May will probably be better. And again, sorry for doing this late. Like I said, I was waiting for those, but they never came. I could have done those three days ago, but I was busy. And expected things to come, but I didn't. So, let's get started with this guy. Let's put him on the hand and tell our story. So the arms do move. In fact, let's turn... Make it like that. Yeah. So... <laughs> Hold on. He's, he's hard... He's hard, really hard to operate. I can barely put him in my mouth. It's ridiculously challenging to get his mouth moving because the space is really tiny. He says hippo. And he came with another puppet in the background. It's not that ladybug. Here he is. He was two dollars, but the shipping was a bit much. Seven bucks. Still, not bad. The other puppet he came with is actually rare, even though I literally don't care, like, at all. And Brandon Longwell has really, is really wanting me to do this. This story review, so, here we go. Uh, oh boy. This. Does anyone know what this is? Who are these? Who, who's, he, she, that? Why are there baby Einsteins? Baby, baby Einstein? Zero plus? Uh, the, the, this doesn't do any more helping to explain what this is. Um, so the menu has the caterpillar, like the intro caterpillar, whatever, and it plays Bori from Neptune, and it has Beethoven Discovery Kit, Mozart Discovery Kit, Baby Lullaby, Neptune 09, Neptune's Oceans, which, um, is listed as Baby Neptune's Oceans. Uh, it also has Baby Noah, which I can't seem to find because this is organized terribly. Um, I'd love someone to see what this says. I mean, I could. Pro probably, I don't know what it says. It's by DVD. And when my mom opened the package, she said that it was from a Russian seller. Which would make sense, because this is Russian. It's just weird. I probably paid too much for this. Ten bucks. But I can sell it if you need. And I probably will. I have a couple things to sell. Oh, yes. If you saw that my name is Sweeney Veal, you'd recognize this. Baby Feelings with a girl. I really don't know what the look is. Um, so, we're gonna judge how she likes the monkeys. Happy Lappy, she really likes, has the most dots. Uh, Love and Lisey, sh she's pretty cool with. Second most. Sad Sully, she's a pretty big fan of. Third most. S Sweeney, unfortunately, best one. She thinks it's just okay, four dots. Not a big fan of Rage of Ruchi, with three. And she absolutely hates Scared Sosa, who has one measly dot. Um... So, the funny thing is, when I first tested this out, I had accidentally had effects on it in v VLC, so it looked like it was in terrible quality. The YouTube one looks fine. As you can see, it looks terrifying. Just watch the video to see. It's just weird. It's got, somehow got toys and classical music. It has a formula, but at the same time, the formula is really inconsistent. So, I don't know. The, 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 it has a booklet. In fact, I'm gonna read this booklet. Happy Lappy. 
I'm the happiest of all. I laugh, play, dance, and jiggle. I love to be tickled. I can be happy in many ways. I can be happy when I'm quiet and peaceful. I can also be happy just reading a book. Isn't that the same as quiet and peaceful? I will share my happiness with you. Oh no. Sad soul. I express myself by crying, pouting, or being very quiet. As long as I get to share my feelings with someone I trust, I feel much better. I have learned to talk to someone special or to grab my favorite toy or blankie for soothing. I'm here to help you feel the sadness and learn how to grab a smile. The funny thing is, he's talking about all his favorite toy and blankie, and he, and he sounds and looks about 25 years old. Love and Lisi, I think the only girl character. I feel the magical feeling of love, of course. As my heart gets happier and bigger, I can share and help others feel love by giving my love. Or by giving love, my heart gets bigger too. I will play with you to show you my greatest expression of love. With love, I can do so much and be proud of myself. I inspire trust and confidence and love, 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 love. Rage and Ruchi's is very long. I get mad easily. I feel as if a volcano is roaring inside me and I want to explode. It's okay as long as I know how to let out my honor. Healthy rage that doesn't hurt or destroy. I get mad when someone hurts my feelings or when I try to do something new and it doesn't work out. If I blow very hard or shake my hands really fast, I can surely take out all my mad energy and turn it into um turn it into success. 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 Uh, I can show you how. Nice table. Surprise, sweetie. I am full of ass and nose. I will usually jump, squeal with delight, and I dance at the sight of the unexpected. Almost not wanted. Then I did my best to learn from it. I will teach you to put your arms around the surprises that come out of the blue sky. Why? Why did you mention the blue sky? Scared so, so I am easily scared by things like thunder, darkness, and monsters. Y'all, yeah, please know that everybody's afraid at times. Nights can be very long for me, so I've learned to talk to my pillow. Think of happy thoughts, or find a superhero to rescue me. Now I sleep like a baby. I can help you learn to feel safe too. Yikes. Oh, uh, there's a there's a back. It's boring though. I don't care. Speaking of the 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 Now it's time to grab dumb shit. George made me buy this. Well, told me to. It sucks ass and I regret buying it. The best toy is a beach ball. Also, Young Hug Groovy Gamer has a fetish for this too, so beware. We got Oink, Br Ruff, and Bah, even though it looks like Boo from that angle. Uh, it's, it's children dressed in costumes playing with animals. That's about it. There's a weird CJ butterfly right there. It's in the video a bit. It, it's bad. It's just bad. There's even a booklet in the di disc. For some reason, the color is spelled like UK. I don't know why. But yeah, there's a booklet. If you really want, here's the scene list. Nobody wants it, I know. There's even one called Wonders in the Forest, which is, for some reason, hard to find. However, absolutely no one wants it at all. Oh dear, I made it dark. Too, mu too, too much dark. Put the book right back. Put the... <sighs> <sighs> Alright, now, let's, let's ladybug. This, unfortunately, is going to Pugmaster. I would have rather had anyone else but Pugmaster, but hey, he paid me 35 bucks for it, and I got it for 10 off Marketplace. Obviously, I already have this. It's gonna get to not tomorrow. Uh, yeah. Baby Einstein. Kind of weird tag. Probably from, like, 2003. I'm guessing. Maybe 04. It's a puppet. Hey, guys, I'm filming a puppet show. Yeah, guys, look, use this in your remakes. Yeah, yeah. Mm. All right, now probably the best thing, even though you could debate, uh, the Tetra Tops. Now I'm, I'm gonna get up close and personal, a bit too up close and personal for this one. Uh, actually, no, we're not. I'm just grabbing a little bit here. I should have brought something to spin them, and keep in mind, the first couple days I really liked spinning them, and uh, they're not made very well. So see, this one looks normal. It's the one from Galileo. Whoops. 
It still spins fine and my dad can glue it. And also this one, this one that's shaped like Beethoven but not the same color, lost its first thing. However, we're gonna, we're gonna zoom in and we're gonna not make it that blurry, that's for sure. Alright, so it sometimes works. See, look, see, look, it can somehow spin on three things. There it is. Go! Yeah! And then this one. This one can also spin fine. If you spin it like this, it looks fine, yeah. Yeah. The good news is probably the best one, which is. Stop. Which is this one. The one f exact one from Beethoven that everyone likes and thinks is cool spins well. It is not broken at all. I haven't spun most of them in a couple weeks of, for fear of destroying them. It might fall off. It fell off. No surprise. And then there's this one. It's the Cube Octohedron. Yeah, for it's green and not gold like the one in Beethoven. It died. Then there's this little mini one, I don't care about that much. I didn't spin it hard because it was going to fall off. I was going to tell my dad to glue this before I film this, just to make sure, hey, they're not broken, but yeah. it's If you got it, it would kind of be pretty hard to not have one of them lose a marble, especially since I got six. And I know you haven't seen the sixth one. It's, it's tiny. It's really tiny and kind of hard to spin, so you just gotta kind of lick it and hope it doesn't do that. There we go. See, it worked. I think Omega Gamer or Pigo, whatever the hell he's called, I don't even know if he exists anymore, has this. I think I'm the only one that has the blue Beethoven one, although someone else might have this Galileo one. I know DG has some, but I don't think he has any exact ones. I know Nyron has a few. Uh, movie recording is stopped. Well, wow. VHS 10, we got Shakespeare uh, Zoom Out with CD. It's Shakespeare 2 with CD. It's 02. Here it is. Print date. It's print date. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's 02 with CD. It's nothing special. It's cool. I paid too much for this. Help. So for for this, 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 and this, which I already have, uh, I pay ten bucks, and I don't have that much money as of now, so I probably should have saved it. However, the NAO two, early O two is not actually common. It looks a little bit different from O one. Dog's brown. The N and the A are capitalized. Here's the back, and then no blue top. And print date is 3.04.02. Now we're all in a Molso 2, same thing. Looks the same as 01 except for capital and capital. Blah blah blah. Blah blah blah. I don't want to live with animals. Or do I? Uh, print date 6.11.02. And it does have the blue top, since it's a bit later. Uh, Galileo Blue's pretty cool. I got it for five bucks, and then another one for five bucks showed up. It's Galileo Blue, it's not actually that rare, but hey. Print date's 11... Uh, 11-1903. It looks like that. It's Galileo on the back. There's nothing changed at all. Why would there be? There it is. Get back inside. The lot with any Shakespeare really almost came with Pulsar 2. I don't want this, I want it to die, I'll sell it maybe, I don't know, possibly. I'm gonna be listing two to three things over the next probably week. I already listed one, like I said, the ladybug went to Pugmaster. But was bought like within an hour, and the worst part is all he's gonna do is buy it and then sell it for cheaper, and I'll gain money, he'll lose money, the person who, the seller will Okay. I don't even know about that. Fuck. It's Mozart 02! Yeah, I don't know how to trade this, but print date is 120402. I think I have one of the exact same print date! Okay, now let's tell a fun story. On eBay, there was. This was, I think, early April. There was a VHS lot with Mozart 04. 
and Bach O3, but what happened is the seller put the Mozart O4 tape inside the Bach one, and all we could see was a bit of the sticker label without showing the actual title of the tape. And as you know, Mozart O4 with CD tapes have a 98 looking sticker label. So the seller mixed the two up, and I bought it. I was going to sell Mozart for the Sam, which I still am, sorry. Uh, and I was going to keep Bach, which I thought was 04. So, so Mozart's 04, it comes with a booklet, which is the wrong booklet. It's 04, yeah, see. I've already tested it. If you know anything about VHSs, you'll know that it is 04. <laughs> and if it wasn't 04, it'd still be rare. But then the sad story is, the Bach tape was in the Mozart one. And it looks like it could be interesting when I open it up. However, rip. It's 03. I didn't have Bach 03 though, so I don't need it anymore. George is going to send his duplicate to me. Half his duplicate's actually weird as fuck, so glad you can keep it. We're almost done. We've got this cool kinetic. Let's zoom in. It looks great. Uh, there it is. It's called the planet. In fact, I'll go get the box. Hold on. Here's the box, asshole! Okay, here's the box. It's weird. I had a regular Mars kinetic, which you can see right over there. Right there. That came in a similar box, just bigger. And this box is very cool. Swing art planet. That's what it reads. I don't feel like burning it out. I put batteries in it. it, it it's very spinny. Oh, it, and it goes slowly compared to some other ones. This is all it does. Cool. It was only, I think, 15 bucks in Bowie's and in the Kinect server, which, if you care about Kinect, which is like two people, then join there. <laughs> I won't tell you the link, so ha. Huh? Alright, so here, here, here's a funny story, again. Uh, this guy, on May 4th, 2019, me and George, well, mostly George, were able to find this person, this lion push puppet from Baby Noah on some random push puppet collector's website and we still know the brand but exactly a year later it came to my mail on May 4th 2020 I didn't order it on May 4th but it came that day which is pretty coincidental we had found another rare toy just before it but it wasn't from BE it was those elephant and lion from the original baby prodigy right at the beginning now this was only 10 bucks it was actually rotting on eBay. It had been for a few months. Uh, it was in a push puppet lot with just lions. And I had messaged the seller back in, I think, January or February. If they would separate, and they were like, oh, I don't want to. If it ends and no one buys it in a few weeks, then maybe. Two months later, no one buys it. I see it's still on. So I messaged the seller and say, hey, I had messaged you before. And uh, you were going to separate if it didn't sell and it didn't sell. So can you separate? They're like, yeah, it was ten bucks, five for the actual thing, five for shipping. Um, so I got it. I actually, it's cute. I really like it, honestly. I'm glad I have it, because I saw one that had sold on eBay a few months ago. It's still rare as fuck, but it's not as rare as I thought. It's not unfound toy, like rarity. It's more of, like, I don't know, I guess mini orbiter rarity, considering. I don't know. I, I used to actually know more about the rare, rarity scale of toys and shit, now I don't. Even though I, the, I think I was the one who created it. Okay, uh, next we have... Blur out the camera. The tiny love stacking rings, I gotta go over here to review it. Now, as you can see, there's a few random rings that aren't supposed to come with it at all. Yeah. Okay. Fine. I don't know what these are from. If someone can figure out, great. I, they're probably tiny love. These three are, but it's missing... It's missing the orange ring. So, what I do is I just... One, 
two, three, and then put the head on. This was on Mercari, and Co had found a baby toy lot that had this as the image, and it said, oh, sorry, not part of the lot. So then I looked at the seller's other page, and it was on there for five bucks with five bucks shipping. I got it. It's a little bit dirty, but honestly, to be expected, it was only, like I said, ten bucks. And it came in a triangular-shaped box, which is weird. I don't know why I had to point that out. We're gonna do, we're gonna do a baby Beethoven remake the best we can. Fuck you. Or if you don't want these rings, you could just do 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 and then just put it on. It looks empty. Very empty. Like there's something missing. Which there is. If anyone would like to sell me their random ass ring from it, thank you. The exact day I purchased, the exact day this came, Leo listed his, and I was just get about to ask him, Hey, can you please, please just sell me that one ring? Because I need it. I, again, don't know what these are from, or why they're there. I'll toss them in the air. And finally, this came with the hippo puppet. It's a lion bath mitt. And let me go back to the camera to show this one. Uh, oh dear. It's like a lion bath puppet. It came with a hippo. Uh, it's a bit of different texture, but it still feels like definitely a bath puppet. It's simple, nothing special. However, it's rare as fuck and I can't find it anywhere. It does have the tags, so I looked up Jumping Beans Lion Bath Mitten after about five minutes of searching. I found it on Amazon out of stock, and that's the only place. That store, Kohl's, which is forgettable as hell, still has the frog version of this in stock. I can't find any others. So this is probably rarer than a lot of things. Probably the rarest thing I got in this, even though I am depressed to admit that. So yeah, that was April. Like I said, it could have been better, but it's still pretty good, and I don't think it's the worst. That would probably go to February. Uh, hopefully May will be better and stuff actually is purchased and comes to me. To mail, yeah. And hopefully Brandon doesn't bug me. I'm just kidding. I want him to bug me even more. Bye, and there might be a surprise, if I'm not lazy.